man is in the hospital and a woman distraught after two people break into their home overnight with a gun. One of the victims grabbed a knife and stabbed one of the attackers. This happened at the corner of Bentler and Schoolcraft on Detroit's west side. That's where we find 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel, who talked with one of the victims. Well, in the 13,000 block of Bentler, all the homes, they're abandoned like this one, except for one right here, this one right here, that was targeted this morning by two people, and we heard a frightening experience from the woman inside. Just before 4.30 this morning, Denise Law was in the back of her house with her partner, Dave. We were sleeping, and the next thing I knew, some guy was jumping through the bedroom window. The masked man and Dave quickly got into a fight that carried throughout the house. Plates and flower pots used as weapons. Denise says she heard the man say, where's the money? I heard the guy go, where is she? Where'd she go? Where's she at? Well, I was hiding in the closet. While the man was letting in a second intruder, Denise was calling 911 from the closet. She crawled there with two injured legs. Did everything you could to hide. Yep. Because I didn't want to get hurt. I didn't want to die. I don't want to go out. I've got six kids. I'm not dying like this. <sighs> she says once she couldn't hear anything, she ran out of the house to go get help. Went to go get a friend of mine because I thought Dave might have been in the backyard dead somewhere. I didn't know. He wasn't. Law says he was wandering after getting hit in the head with a gun, but not before grabbing a knife in the kitchen during the struggle and stabbing one of the two would-be robbers. He got the guy a couple good times. He stabbed him with the knife, and the knife broke, so maybe the knife is inside of him, and maybe he'll have to go to the hospital, and they'll find him that way. This is the world we live in, and it's terrible that we have to be afraid to live. And Detroit police, they are investigating. They'll also be monitoring hospitals to see if anybody comes in with wounds that match what happened here. Reporting on Detroit's west side, Brian Abel, 7 Action News.